Now in this particular video, we will see how to create the custom pipes. Basically for the custom pipes, we will have to do something similar to the components like when we create component, we import some of the predefined components like component and when we want to define, we create an export class with the name of the component. Similarly here, we will create the TypeScript class using the pipe decorator at the top of it and inside that we will put all the logics. So let's see a practical implementation of creating the custom pipes in Angular. Now in order to create a custom pipe, I will take a new file with the name employeesalary.pipe.ts and I will save that in the same location where I have put the another files of employee component and right there I will write this amount of code. Let's see what is all here. So when you used to create a normal component, what you used to do? You used to import the component from Angular core. Now since I am going to create a pipe, a custom pipe, I just imported a pipe along with the pipe transform because this transform uh, is a basically an interface which will give us a transform function which I must define while creating a pipe. So basically this function will do all the required transformation which will be done by the pipe during the implementation. So now here I have put another decorator pipe as usually we used to put component. Now when I am creating the pipe I will put the pipe and here I will just use one thing that is the name in hand. So basically this is something which I will use for putting this pipe in the implementation all right like we used to put lowercase uppercase when I will put this particular file I will say in hand. So basically what I am going to do here I am going to deduct the tax amount from the salary all right. So for that I have created a class employee salary pipe implements pipe transform as you can see implements if you are familiar with Java you know implement keyword is used when we put interface similarly for any object oriented programming language interface comes into the picture for the implementation so the required function has to be defined and here transform is that function so basically I have passed two parameters out here first is the value value on which you will apply the pipe like for this example the salary is my value all right the current salary amount for the specific employee is the value and here is the optional parameter that is the tax amount like the tax percentage all right so this tax percentage is basically something which user may or may not pass if it doesn't pass i will take 10 percent and if it gives anything more than one i will take that as a value all right so this is the ternary operator. Now, finally, I am doing the calculation like value minus value into tax divided by 100. That means value will be deducted by the tax amount. All right, the tax percentage, whatever percentage you have specified. By default, it will be 10. All right, so this is the logical implementation. Once you have created this pipe, the next thing that you will have to do is to register that in the current module. So for doing that, again, I have written the similar line that is import employee salary pipe. That's the name of my class out there. All right. And the location, as I said, I have saved that in the very same location. So just the same path is specified. And I'll have to register that here as well in the declaration. That is the employee salary pipe. So let me save that. And now I'm done with the things. The next thing which is remaining is to implement that pipe. So for now, I am done till this particular point and here is my output, all right, which we have done in the previous video of pipes. Now in the salary, what I'll do is I will implement one more pipe that is the in hand. In hand is the name of that pipe. I haven't saved that. Currently you can see. 10,000 and this is all the salary which is mentioned as soon as I will apply this pipe I will save it and here you can see 
the amount got deducted by the 10 percent that is it was 10,000 initially the 10 percent of 10,000 is 1,000 and 10,000 minus 1,000 is 9,000 which is displayed similarly the same operation is done for the rest of the records similarly if you want to deduct more than 10 percent that is let's say 20 percent for example I will just pass a colon and pass the value like I have done here as well similarly you can pass different number of parameters just by passing colon as per your requirement here I just pass 1 so colon 20 so now it will become 8000 alright because 2000 is deducted out of 10,000 as a tax amount alright so similarly the value whichever value you will put accordingly this pipe will be implemented so what all I have to do First, I created a new TypeScript file where I put the logic along with the implementation of pipe and pipe transform. I gave a name which I used it here for implementing and let, before that I had to register that in my app module.ts that is here. Alright, so I will include it here in import and then I will register that in the declarations. And after that, you are good to implement the custom pipe which you have just defined.